Hello guys, this is tutorial glitch hacks. I will be showing you how to port forward your Xbox 360 requirements for Xbox Live using my Zilink 600L router cloud router. So first you need to go to your browser and type in the original way that it is 192.168.0.1 click enter or hit enter it'll see here it says index.asp when typing the um or if you don't have just type in admin or uh, and in the password just type in password again admin in the username and password in the password click log in oh, I'm sorry I'm sorry just try it again oh man got message sorry admin type in password type in password in the password bar you're good to go. It says here status connected. I'm not connected for my D-Link account. Go to manual setup. Go on advance. Advanced port forwarding rules. And go down. So I put those requirements here. So if you want to copy them, just copy. Um, if you want the original thing or the requirements of this xbox live i'm gonna go on xbox.com oh sorry xbox.com just gonna wait alright after you got to your xbox after you get to the website xbox.com and type in port forward just type in port forward and hit enter it'll search for you for the support go on slide down until you see the support and you will see here that says xbox network ports click on that right after it load up you'll see the requirements of port forwarding or network ports used by xbox live you can read these some stuff but you'll see here that you will put all of these in through here like that I require you use a name like xbox one so use 88 so it's UDP I type in the IP address of your type in the IP address of your Xbox like that and type in the private port and in the 3074 you'll see I put any because any is just any of these two it will connect so 3074 3074 Xbox 2 and the IP address again of your Xbox the 53 I put any two because any of those it will connect whatever IP address of your Xbox Xbox 3 the name and last one is the Xbox 4 type in your IP address again and lastly it is 80 it is TCP only so I put just TCP there and after you do all the requirements you want to save settings from here or from here if you click save settings and click reboot now it will reboot your router and says it will take effect if you reboot your router so if you don't reboot it I think it will not take effect but I didn't try it yet so don't worry I'll put all the links in the description you needed 
eating this one the link of this i'll put it on description thanks for watching this is tutorial glitch hacks signing out subscribe for more um comment below if you I'm having some problems and ask me if I can solve it I'll solve it <laughs> I'm signing out thanks for watching subscribe like and comment bye bye